Hi, this is Dave from DIY Domination. I would like to welcome you to the exciting world of hydroponics, a soilless growing method that's not only efficient, but also incredibly rewarding. Imagine growing your favorite plants all year round in the comfort of your own home without the need for soil or large outdoor spaces. That's the beauty of hydroponics. The realm of hydroponics encompasses a variety of systems, each with its unique characteristics and benefits. We have the deep water culture, where plants float on the nutrient-rich water. Then there's the nutrient film technique that allows a thin film of nutrient solution to flow over the roots. And let's not forget aeroponics, where the roots are misted with the nutrient solution. Each system has its perks, and choosing one depends on your space, budget, and the plants you wish to grow. Ready to start your hydroponic journey? Let's dive right in. By the way, if you like this video and want to see more videos with advice on gardening and farming, make sure to click the subscribe button and leave a comment down below saying, I subscribed, and we'll do our best to reply to your comment. Before anything else, you need to do some research and planning. It's like mapping out a journey before you hit the road. You see, hydroponics isn't just about growing plants without soil. It's a science that requires a solid understanding of its basic principles. You've got to know the different systems available, such as deep water culture, nutrient film technique, and aeroponics, to name a few. Each system has its own pros and cons, and what works best can depend on factors like space, budget, and the type of plants you want to grow. Speaking of plants, choosing your crops is another key part of the planning process. Not all plants are created equal. Some might thrive in a hydroponic setting while others might struggle. So, do your homework, find out what plants will work best for you, and get to know their specific hydroponic requirements. With the right knowledge and planning, you're already halfway there. Now, it's time to choose a hydroponic system that suits your needs. Hydroponic systems come in a variety of styles, each with its own advantages depending on your space, budget, and the plants you wish to grow. First up, we have the deep water culture system. This is a beginner-friendly option where plants are suspended in nutrient-rich water. It's simple, cost-effective, and perfect for small spaces. Next is the nutrient film technique system, where a thin film of nutrient solution is circulated over the roots of plants held by a sloping tray. This system is a bit more technical, but great for growing leafy greens. Then we have aeroponics, a more advanced system where plant roots hang in air and are misted with nutrient solution. It's a bit pricier, but offers faster growth rates and higher yields. And there are many more systems to explore. Your choice should depend on your specific needs and the plants you want to grow. Remember, the right system is key to your hydroponic success. With your system chosen, you need to gather your equipment and supplies. Let's dive into what you'll need to get your hydroponic garden up and running. First off, the components of your chosen hydroponic system are essential. This typically includes pumps, reservoirs, and grow trays. The pump ensures that the nutrient solution is circulated properly while the reservoir holds the solution that feeds your plants. The grow trays, on the other hand, serve as the home for your plants. Next, you'll need a pH testing kit. This tool is crucial for monitoring the pH levels of your nutrient solution. Different plants thrive at different pH levels, so having this kit on hand allows you to adjust as necessary. Lastly, let's talk about nutrient solutions. These are the plant food for your hydroponic garden. They contain essential minerals that your plants need to grow and flourish. Lighting is also a key element. Depending on your setup, you may need grow lights if natural sunlight isn't sufficient. Equipped with the right tools, you're ready to set up your hydroponic system. Let's get your hydroponic system up and running. The first step is assembling the system. Each system is different, but the general rule of thumb is to follow the manufacturer's instructions to the letter. If you've opted for a kit, it's like building a puzzle. Each piece has its place and purpose. If you're DIYing your system, remember to set up your reservoir, install the pump, and arrange the grow trays in a manner that allows for efficient water flow. Next up is installing the grow lights. The right placement is crucial for the well-being of your plants. Place them at the appropriate height and angle to ensure all your plants receive adequate light. Keep in mind, the height may need to be adjusted as your plants grow. And voila! You've set up your hydroponic system. It might seem like a bit of a process, but the fruits of your labor will be worth it. Now your system is ready for some action. Next up, preparing the nutrient solution and planting your crops. Let's start with the nutrient solution. 
This will be the lifeblood for your plants, providing all the necessary minerals they need to grow. So it's crucial to get it right. Follow the instructions on the nutrient solution packaging to achieve a balanced mix. Once mixed, it's time to test the pH using your pH testing kit. We're aiming for a pH range that's optimal for your chosen plants. Now, let's move on to planting. If you're starting from seeds, you'll need to germinate them in a suitable medium first. Alternatively, you can acquire seedlings from a reliable source, which saves a bit of time. When your seedlings have developed roots, it's time to introduce them to their new hydroponic home. Be gentle during the transplant process to avoid damaging the roots. With your plants in place, you're all set to start growing. Your plants are in, but your job isn't over yet. Now that we've got our hydroponic garden up and running, it's time to focus on the ongoing task of monitoring and adjusting. This is where your attention to detail really comes into play. Think of your hydroponic system as a living, breathing entity. Just like us, it needs regular checkups to stay healthy. Regularly testing your nutrient levels is crucial. If the nutrients are too low, your plants may not grow as well as they should. If the nutrients are too high, you risk burning your plants. Next, we want to keep a close eye on the pH levels. Most plants prefer a slightly acidic environment with a pH between 5.5 and 6.5. This balance ensures that nutrients are absorbed effectively. Finally, make sure the water temperature is just right, not too hot, not too cold. Ideal water temperature is generally between 68 and 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep an eye on your plants and they'll reward you with abundant growth. Let's talk about lighting and harvesting. Lighting plays a crucial role in hydroponics. Without soil to gather nutrients, your plants are going to rely heavily on light. This is where grow lights come in. They're designed to mimic the sun's spectrum and can be adjusted to accommodate different stages of plant growth, whether it's the vegetative or flowering phase, ensuring the right spectrum and duration of light is key to robust growth. Now, on to harvesting. This is the moment you've been waiting for. When your plants reach maturity, it's time to reap the fruits of your labor. Each plant has its own harvesting guidelines, so make sure to follow them closely. Some might require a gentle hand, while others might need a more firm approach. But no matter what you're harvesting, it's always an exciting moment to see the results of your hard work and dedication. With the right light and timing, you'll enjoy a bountiful harvest. Now that you've harvested your crops, it's time for some cleaning and maintenance. Hydroponic gardening doesn't end with the harvest. Like any well-oiled machine, your hydroponic system needs regular upkeep to continue producing those lush, healthy plants. Cleaning your system is a must after each growing cycle to prevent the buildup of algae or pathogens that could harm your future crops. Use a non-abrasive cleaner and a soft brush to scrub the reservoir, grow trays, and other components. Rinse thoroughly with water to ensure no residue is left behind. If your system has pumps or air stones, make sure you check and clean them too. Disinfecting is another critical step. You can use hydrogen peroxide or a mild bleach solution for this. Just remember, rinse well after disinfecting. We don't want any traces of these chemicals interacting with our next batch of plants. Maintenance is equally important. Inspect your system components regularly. Check your pumps to make sure they're working efficiently and replace if necessary. Test your grow lights to ensure they're providing the right amount of light. A well-maintained system not only extends its lifespan, but also ensures optimal plant growth. Now let's talk about learning. Hydroponic gardening is an adventure. It's an ongoing process of trial and error, learning and refining. Each growing cycle is an opportunity to understand your plants better, to observe how they respond to the environment you've created for them. Did your plants thrive? Great. Try to replicate those conditions in the next cycle. Did they struggle? That's okay too. Identify the possible reasons. Was the pH off? Was the nutrient mix not quite right? Did they need more light? Use this information to tweak your setup. Remember, every good gardener has faced challenges. It's all part of the journey. So don't be disheartened if things don't go as planned. Instead, embrace these as learning opportunities. With every cycle, you'll get better at hydroponic gardening. So keep learning and experimenting. So, we've covered a lot of ground in this guide, from understanding the basic principles of hydroponics to choosing the right crops for your setup. We've dived deep into the various hydroponic systems available and the necessary equipment and supplies you'll need. We've also discussed how to set up the system, prepare the nutrient solution, and transplant your seedlings. Plus, we've touched on the importance of regular monitoring and adjustments, providing adequate lighting and timely harvesting.
And let's not forget the crucial steps of cleaning and maintaining your system as well as the ongoing learning and iterating process. Hydroponics is indeed a science, but it's also an art, and every gardener adds their unique touch to it. As we've seen, starting a hydroponic garden is a process, but it's a rewarding one. So roll up your sleeves, get your hands a little wet, and dive into the world of soilless gardening. Remember, hydroponic gardening is a rewarding journey, so start today and enjoy the fruits of your labor. If you liked this video, then make sure to also watch these videos for more DIY gardening and farming tips.